This morning, yet another United Nations school sheltering thousands of Palestinian families suffered a reprehensible attack. All available evidence points to Israeli artillery as the cause. Nothing is more shameful than attacking sleeping children. At least 16 civilians are dead and many more are injured. I want to make it clear that precise location of this Jabalia Elementary school, Girls School has been communicated to the Israeli military authorities 17 times. As recently as last night, just a few hours uh, before the attack, they are aware of the coordinates and exact locations where these people are being uh, sheltered. No, no school that has, that, that, that has been sheltering uh, people or has been under the UN's control have there been weapons found in while under the UN's control. So again, there is no excuse to say that there are weapons in these schools when they are being used as shelters or under the UN's control. Sometimes you run out of words. I was thinking of how to start this uh, briefing and uh, how can you run a hospital without clean water? How can you keep food if you can't freeze, have refrigerators? Well, you, all these, everything we take for granted is gone. So we have a hugely dangerous situation from a humanitarian perspective. And I don't think we, we need more reminders of the importance of stopping this horror. We have to see the end of fighting. There uh, being told, uh, flee areas, get out of areas, but it, to where? Where, where? where should they go? And, and again, uh, we don't have the answer for them uh, on that. And if this were uh, a conflict elsewhere in the world, they would at least have the option of crossing borders um, and seeking sanctuary in, uh, in neighboring countries. They don't have that option in this uh, particular case. For me, this is a moment where you really have to say enough is enough, and where you have to... Uh, search for the right words to convince those who have the power to stop this.